Now let's go ahead and take a look at our top coronavirus headlines this morning. Texas has surpassed California for the third most virus related deaths of any state in the country. New York and New Jersey hold the top two spots. New Zealand will keep its restrictions in place for at least another week as it battles a small outbreak that started in Auckland last month. South Korea has reported its lowest number of new cases in about a month and that's happening as the area near Seoul starts to ease some of its social distancing rules. Here are the latest numbers according to John's Hopkins. There are more than 762,000 cases in California. More than 14,000 people have died from COVID-19 statewide. There are more than six and a half million cases across the country. More than 194,000 Americans have died from coronavirus. This week, students are going to be returning to campus in nearly 20 schools in Sacramento County. The County Health Department gave the green light under the new school waiver program. Now, most of these are Catholic schools in our area. Leticia Ordazzi is live at Sacred Heart this morning in Sacramento with a plan to keep students and staff safe. Teo and Georgia, good morning. The Catholic Diocese tells us it has a rigorous plan in place to keep students safe during COVID-19. So for six months, Sacred Heart Elementary School has been shut down tomorrow. It will reopen for in-person learning with the car parade and temperature checks for everyone. Parents who are doing the drop off are being urged to keep their social distance for everyone's safety and kids who are in second grade and up are being required to keep their masks on the entire day except for lunch and snack time. There is hand sanitizer outside of each classroom and students must clean their hands before entering. Desks are spread apart and there is no sharing school supplies this year. Catholic schools make up 16 of the 19 schools approved to reopen in Sacramento County. The superintendent of the Sacramento Catholic Diocese says they are ready to get back into the classroom, but also have a plan in place if someone gets COVID-19. And so everybody would go home and for that two, two week period, uh, the class would be in distance mode for everybody. Just because we're back uh, doesn't mean that uh, this has gone away. And that, that mindset of, of vigilance and being very careful at all times and not just during the school day is important for everybody. And not everyone is comfortable with sending their kids back to school during the pandemic. So families are being given the option to stick with distance learning for the year. So they're going to accommodate those families. Again, the big parade is happening tomorrow. Families are encouraged to stay in their cars and honk and say hi to everyone. Reporting live in Sacramento, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Hi, thank you.